Yes. Greetings. Are you here for a specific reason? Indeed. Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia. Yes. <laughs> Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Okay. Where is that? All the way over here. Okay. Let's fast travel to Tredegor Gate. Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Baratra said that... And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. To show me? You're using me. Don't like it one bit. And I don't like lacy frills and Redanian novels, but you don't hear me complaining. Now follow me. Those people in the background were so confused. Okay, I don't know what you're up to. She just wanted to get out of the house, I think. Here. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank gold cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, uh -huh. like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Uh. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. Hmm. All right. If that's what the lady wishes, just don't want to see anyone crying later. I've a hanky for you, just in case. <laughs> On guard. Good answer. You got me with that last time. Ow. Ha. Ow. Stop. Not this I time. Deal. That was easy. You all right? Yes. The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. That was very quick. That must have been like a crit or something. By the way, how'd you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. So does Geralt. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. All right, what's next? We should return. Just... That was quick. Forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset, it slows you. Ooh, she quick. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varadra will kill me. Need to find her. Okay. Rosa. Classic. Can't be far. Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. Ugh. Look all very suspicious sneaky. To me. Rosa. Huh? This way. Uh oh, she's getting harassed. A gallant gesture, but I must refuse. Oi. Oh, Can I become a witch? Oh, that's his answer, all like that. Aye, but Nilfgaardian wants to. Uh -oh. Come to the wrong tavern, birdie. 
Uh oh, we've got a situation. Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shot <laughs> you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beast, eh? Oh, we'll tempt it were ourselves. Hmm, do I want to fight him? Do I want to magic him? I guess I'll magic him. Hmm. They really shouldn't be harassing people, though. No, I'll just magic them. I believe you've offended the young lady. Now apologize as nicely as you can. For forgive me, milady. I I am sorry. Your turn. Be nice like your friend. Bow low and go be a patriot somewhere else. Lucas and Kobe. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. Wow. <sighs> Lesson's over. Remember what you've learned today. Looks like you'll be using that sword often. Yeah, it's seriously. beyond me, Geralt. I don't understand you. Why concern yourself with the fate of two drunkards? The world would be a better place without... You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Oh man, that took a turn. Rosa. Very entitled. Very Nilf Guardian. You go your way. I'll go my Ooh. There's a wall. Anything good? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Whoever put it on the sarcophagus was clearly thinking about grave robbers. Uh, you've no idea who I am, have you? None. Professor Vermont John, Oxenfurt University, Faculty of Applied Archaeology. As a certain ancient map would have it, there's a priceless elven tome in this sarcophagus, the Darar Manuscript. It could shed entirely new light on the NL Enshay conflict. Hmm. So, will you help? Always up for a bit of scholarship. All right, let's open it. Blood are glowing. Vampire. Probably regenerates here. Just five more minutes. <sighs> Is it 1358 yet? No. Then fuck off. <laughs> uh. I'm ever running into things like that. Really? Well, come on. Open it again. Why? See an elven manuscript there? Because I sure as hell didn't. I haven't the chance to look. Perhaps he enjoys bedtime reading and keeps it under his pillow. Okay. Fine. I'll open it again. What the... Again? Do you fucking plan to come knocking once an hour now? Enough! Oh. Uh oh. He's mad. Oh no! Ugh. Yeah! This is what curiosity will get you. I did have a Quen. Oh, that wasn't a Quen, but. 
It was still something pretty good. Ah! Okay. What we really need is Igni. And maybe, hang on, do we have an entry on vamp higher vampires? Look at that. What do we got? Igni, I guess. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's a catacan. Oh. Oh my gosh. Where's my Quen? Here it is. Oh. Shouldn't have disturbed him. Yeah. Shame you didn't leave me to talk to him. He might have known something about the manuscript. Oh, come didn't on. seem all that willing to chat. You may be right. Oh well. Thanks. Farewell. And I need some dry fruit after that, Gustavo. Can it get any worse? I mean, yes. Jeez. <gasps> Don't know what all that's for. There's a lot of shady well, individuals around. What this means. What, what means? Huh. Looks like a drop of some sort. Hmm. Negotiations with the trade corporation continue. The merchants have agreed to almost all of the emperor's conditions. Outlook positive. Rumors abound that Radovid has found a way to get his hands on Novograd. The key to Novograd is the eternal fire. Control the hierarch, control the city. The plan is in the works. Next message. A stash and crippled case. Interesting. So no, Nilfgaard is also scheming to uh, take control of Nilfgaard, of course. Okay. The next stash they said was at crippled case. We've been there before. Aha. I think I can move this. Key in a note. The trade corporation is haggling about the price of its support for the emperor. The merchants want more influence in the east and south. Unsure how that will end. We know Helmelfart's weakness. You get our girl into the Babelbud's bash, I'll put the kit and the coin in the stash in the Gildo of Sewers. Here's the key. Helmelfart's weakness seems to be women. All right, plot thickens. The Gildorf sewers. Ah, I see. Seems the exchange is going to be unsuccessful. Oh, whoops. Nice try, Nilfgaard. Ooh. Note left by spy. The Trade Corporation has broken off negotiations. Inform the Emperor immediately. He cannot count on its support. Operation Hemelfart remains unchanged. All good to go on our side. Your girl better not let us down. Given the merchant's treachery, the outcome of the war might depend on it. Boy, the weakness of one man. I don't know how Operation Hemelfart is going to happen with these two dudes out of commission, but I guess it's all up to that lady. 